Today, I'm gonna tell you why the Porsche 997.2 is the best 911 you can buy. In a previous video, I have said that the 996 generation Porsche 911 is the best 911 that you can buy. Many would make the argument instead that a 997.2 is actually the best 911 that you could buy. And here are the reasons why. The interior in a 997 generation was a major leap forward from past 911s. It is a very modern interior when compared to air-cooled 911s. And most consider it a big leap in quality over the 996 generation that it replaced. While it still has plenty of plastic inside the interior, Porsche did a much better job with making it look like higher quality material. Of course, if you get a 997 with the the original infotainment system. It's a bit like if you used Windows Vista today. Throughout most of the 911's production run, it has had round headlights. Starting with the 993 generation, these headlights have become a little more aerodynamic and a bit more oval than completely round. The 996 generation took a detour with two headlight designs that have grown in appreciation, but many see the 997 headlights as a return to form. It is certainly a return to a more traditional look. With the 997.2, there are available improvements over the 997.1 headlights, such as the option for dynamic cornering lights. And when driving at speed at night, being able to see well as you come through a corner is kind of a good thing. <laughs> This one is huge and it's why you pay a premium for a 997.2 over a 997.1 or a 996 generation 911. The IMS bearing issue has been somewhat overblown, but if you're one of the people who are affected by it, an expensive rebuild or engine swap is in your future. And that just isn't fun. Unless you use it as an opportunity to have the wife let you make a little bit more power in your car. With the 997.2, Porsche redesigned the engine and it no longer used an IMS bearing. While a 997.2 can still have other issues such as bore scoring. The IMS bearing has received most of the press in modern 911s, which has helped keep prices of the 996 and 997.1 just a bit lower than they probably should be. With the 997 generation, the 911 became a bit more modern with the option of a sport mode. It was also the first generation to feature the sports chrono package. With sport mode and when option with the PDK transmission in automatic mode, you get quicker shifts and it allows your 911 to rev out a bit more. No matter if you have a manual or PDK, it firms up the suspension and improves handle. The sports plus button takes it another step further and really is only truly useful on the track. At a Porsche media event, on the track, I drove a car that was optioned with the PDK transmission. I had accidentally hit the sport mode button when it had previously been in sport plus, and I found it very difficult to keep up with the rest of the Porsches on the track. Once I hit sport plus, it made the whole job much easier. This experience showed me just how much hitting the sport button and the sport plus button really do improve the car's performance. On the track, sports plus really does make you look like a better driver. And the fact that I was able to keep up with much better drivers shows that it can bridge a little bit of the gap in skill. The dual clutch PDK transmission was the first time that a transmission in a Porsche without a clutch pedal could shift faster than humanly possible. The 997 Turbo with a Tiptronic transmission was quoted by Porsche as having a better zero to 60 mile per hour time than the manual, but it could only shift quicker or as quick as the manual in certain situations. That is, of course, if a professional race car driver is driving the manual and not an average person like me. With the PDK, if anyone with a similar spec 911 with a manual transmission wants to race, you should decline. That is unless you want to see a full grown adult cry. The Porsche 997.2 is a modern, good performing driver's car. It is the last 911 to feature hydraulic steering and is one of the most desirable modern 911s. Prices show that the market thinks highly of the 997.2. The big problem over the premium that you're going to pay over a 996 or a 997.1 is simply finding one for sale. A lot of owners are holding on to them, making it a bit tougher to find that good condition example that you want. Now that you know why you should buy the 997.2, to see why I think the 996 is actually the best 911, check out this video.